Hello everyone, welcome to Off the Charts, episode 184. My name is Dan. I just realized I never introduced myself. Took me 184 episodes to uh, figure uh, to uh, figure this out. Anyway, so first of all, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends and hit that little bell. I'm at 399 subscribers here. One more and I get 400 and I can do that contest. Whatever that contest will be at the time. But anyway, so today's episode will be um, about how to reissue a vinyl properly. Now, a few episodes ago, I did a, a rant on bands, especially hair metal bands that are reissuing albums we already have. Well, today I'm talking about the Wild Hearts Fuck uh, album that's got that's been reissued and I actually learned a lot about this album here in the, the past year and a half let me put it that way so it was announced by ginger wildheart that fuck would be getting the vinyl treatment it's it, it was available on vinyl at a very expensive price and i'm glad i did not get the expensive version so I'll tell you about it. But first, cheers. There we go. Let's get the episode rolling. So you all know I love the Wild Hearts. So this is what I had for like the longest time. Fuck on CD. Actually gorgeous, I guess, crushed velvet or velour. I don't know what you call that in English, dear. It's velour. Um cool album uh, sleeve there and this now in Canada we're not as knowledgeable about the wild hearts as the UK would be obviously so I only learned this past year and a half was that this album was is their second album and it's considered by a lot to be a masterpiece. And I always found it good, nowhere near a masterpiece. So this was supposed to be a double album, okay? The record company says, whoa, whoa, Le Matar. You guys just released one album. What are you doing releasing uh, a double album as your second album? That's unheard of. You're, it's never blah, blah, blah. So what the record company did was they recorded the the band the wild hearts recorded all their songs to make a double album but when this came out it was chopped all the long songs were pretty much chopped off which again like it's a good album but there's there was missing something for me so i didn't know at the time i'm starting to love the wild hearts so i'm like Hey, how about I start getting their whole collection? So I ended up getting this here, which is the lent lenticular. I now know the, the, the word. So lenticular uh, CD here called Fishing for Luckies, which was offered apparently through their fan club at the time only. And these songs friggin' rock. Like I like them better than this. Okay. There's a reason why I'm showing you both here. So a year and a half ago, and I'm not kidding here, a year and a half ago was February 2022 is when it was announced that the Wild Hearts were uh, reissuing their album Fuck on vinyl. So, and that's when there was a whole little paragraph, which was Fuck was, like I said, this version right here was chopped off a lot by the record company. So they went and made this one. But Fuck was supposed to be these two albums pretty much put together and a few other singles uh, here and there. And I'll tell you guys about it in a few there. So why did I like this one more better than this one? Well, apparently they were supposed to be one whole album. So this is what I'm trying to get at with how to properly reissue a vinyl. So this earlier this week, after waiting an hour, uh, a, a year and a half, and I, I, I mean, I felt bad. Like the, the company is Round Records. It's available now, by the way. 
it's released, it's it's available. So the girl's alone there. I've talked with her on email, like what's going on with the, and it's like getting a, this is a triple vinyl, by the way. Okay. So um, yeah, she's alone working on, on this. It's like, it's a huge project getting three, a triple vinyl. And this is not the first one the, the Wild Hearts did. And I'll show you a few copies after. So anyway, I'll show it to you now. This is what came in the mail here. So the Wild Hearts Fuck 3 vinyl. So I'll open it up. Now, to be a little picky, I would have preferred this album cover than this. But you know what? Beggars can be choosers. I'm still happy. Works perfect. Sounds great. Remastered also. So when I ordered this a year and a half ago, well, they... They pre-order it just to, like I said, when you're pre you're ordering it, it's actually a pre-order just to see how many copies they need to make or blah blah blah. A year and a half later, I actually pretty much a month after, or I forget, very fast, I got all the MP3s of this album. So when I say it's worth it buying this, they'll they'll send you the MP3s of the album also. And then I'm like, I'm looking at the set list. I'm like, oh my God, it all makes sense now. Which was these two albums now are now as a whole. So in Glorious, if I remember correctly, yeah, that's on Fishing for Luckies. I Want to Go Where the People Go was on Fuck. Schizophonic on um, Fishing for Luckies. Anyway, I'm not going to name you all the songs there. But yeah, Do the Channel Bop was one of my favorites off of uh, Fishing for Luckies. was supposed to be on Fuck. But now it's all on this. Plus, they went and go and go. They went and added um, If Life is Like a Blood. If Life is Like a Love Bank, I Want an Overdraft, which was released only as a single. It wasn't on the uh, Fishing for Luckies. And of course, the. Celtic ish song Jordy in Wonderland, which I actually fucking love. And you you hear uh the band play it live and the whole crowd sings along. I'm like, wow, like it nobody in Canada knows Jordy in Wonderland. And of course, I finally get one of my favorite, if not easily in my top five long epic songs, which is Sky Babies. And I just love, love their long songs. Now they are all on this one uh, three LP. So that's what, like I said, how to reissue a, an album, get the album, how it was supposed to be made, get all the B sides that were attached to this album also, uh, and release it as a triple vinyl. A, a tad, it's not cheap, but it was definitely worth it. Plus, like I said, you get the MP3s or flax or whatever format. I think they send it in two or three formats. I forget there email there but yeah this is how you reissue a vinyl and this is how the wild hearts fuck was supposed to be and holy shit this album went for good from good from for me to a fucking masterpiece now i get how this was supposed to be record companies i, I know they're the boss they're the one who pays the bills but if an artist has a vision you know hear them out there's this album, this version is friggin' amazing. While this I thought was good, you know, it's it was not even close to being my favorite. Now, might have to do another Wild Hearts ranking one day there because this changes it, like changes the ball game completely. So, triple vinyl of Fuck, now available, okay, on Round Records. So, just to give you an idea, another way, another, okay, first of all, cheers. When I am passionate about something, I talk a lot. So they did the same thing with their self-titled album, just The Wild Hearts, which again, triple vinyl. I'm not going to... I've talked about, I've shown this album before, but again, 
has all the B-sides to this, um, to the original album. The original album was actually pretty amazing, okay? it's It wasn't cut or anything. It's got my second favorite epic long Wild Heart song on this here, which is Rooting for the Bad Guy. But uh, yeah, like I said, they went and added a whole bunch of B-sides. So once again, and this is also available, I, I believe still available. I'm not sure about this one. On vinyl anyway on uh, round records there but uh, yeah this is how you make a proper reissue of the vinyl get all your songs on the album plus all the b-sides attached to it and here you go you got the wild hearts self-titled or the white album i guess i don't know which is one of my favorites too there they're all my favorites i guess there but yeah this again another way of properly releasing a vinyl and not to be done but they did the same thing with chutzpah yeah for the longest time I was calling this album chutzpah but apparently my jewish friends told me how wrong i was uh this is sort of the same idea there wasn't as many b-sides but what they did was <clears throat> sorry they there's an album <clears throat> my god dan don't get too excited here yeah. There was Chutzpah, which was the album. And then what happened was they had a whole bunch of leftover songs, which was going to make the album too long. So what they did was they were selling Chutzpah Jr., which was a... One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. I, I forget. Six to eight songs. Six for sure there. But they were only selling it at their concerts. And I was like, I was actually emailing them, like, when is this going to be released here for us people in Canada? Of course, it got re, uh, re, it got released actually as Hootspot Jr. So now you got Hootspot as it was meant to be, which you got Hootspot and Hootspot Jr. So they're kind of mixed in between. Um, once again, it makes more sense this way. So once again, this is how you reissue a an album on vinyl. You put all the bonus tracks. So this one is not B-sides, but it's Chutzpah and that little CD that they were selling at concerts, which they actually sold eventually, called Chutzpah Jr., all on one album. Again, make and these three products make the album better. But again, nothing beats this beauty right here. This is, to me the best reissue album i guess ever okay I, I, maybe i'm maybe i'm not exaggerating i really really see a big difference with the original cut and this one here which makes a big difference to me anyway so congratulations the wild hearts for being the band that actually knows how to reissue albums properly your rats your dawkins your wingers your motley crews do what these guys are doing not what you're friggin doing right now these are uh, anyway I, i'm i'm i was surprised when i got it in the mail i was like finally after a year and a half of waiting is like but yeah it's available now on their website if you're interested there um I know I'm biased with the Wild Hearts, but I do find it now to be a masterpiece as opposed to being just a good album. So there you go. That's my little uh, episode for today. Just to tell you, it does a, there's a way to properly reissue an album. These guys know how. Et voila. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested, like I said, go to Round Records and get those brilliant uh, reissues on uh, vinyl if you like it. They are, they're, or even on CD, they exist. My friend actually went and got them also. He got it about a month or two before me because he got it on CD. So uh, there you go. Thank you guys for watching, and we shall see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.